October 2023. Food, combinations, ancient gastronomic wisdom. It's revived with 90 seedle. Bod giving much needed advice on how to combine different foods. The food we eat can either be the most powerful form of medicine or the slowest form of poison. Recently a sage brought to my notice that when milk is had plain and cold, it can cause mucus accumulation, but when it is had with turmeric, it's a potent cure for respiratory illness. When fermented into curd, it can control runny bowels, but when it is convert, add to ghee, it can aid constipation. It is amazing how one ingredient has such varying effects on health based on the way it is consumed. The science of eating and combining foods is an ancient one, perfected Ken, Tories ago. Let's revisit the do's and don'ts of these food combinations, rel, even to our modern times. Fruit, remember this rule, eat it alone or leave it alone. Fruit should be had by itself and not with a meal. When had with a meal, it interferes with digestion. The only fruits that one can have with a meal are pineapple, papaya, and pomegranate as they are packed with digestive enzymes that aid digestion. Fruit when accompanied with milk results in acidity and reflux. Having fruit with your meal raises blood sugar levels. Keep a minimum gap of two hours between the fruit and your meal, protein. The world seems obsessed with protein, but do we know how to make the most of it? Consuming large doses of protein is pointless if it isn't being absorbed well. Eat one protein source in a given meal. I.e., a their lentils, dairy, soy, poultry, meat or seafood. Combining multiple sources makes digestion difficult. Proteins must be had with vitamin C, lemon juice, to ensure maximum absorption of the protein. Consume it with a rice source of vitamin C like lemon juice, tamarind, or cocoa. Vegetarians and vegans need to accompany dolls or P-U-L-S-E-S with a grain, L-I-K-E, rice or whole, W-H-E-A-T, to receive all the essential amino acids, building, blocks of proteins, fat, the infamous villain of the 80s, fat is the true blue hero of today's times. Here is how you can make the most of it. Butter on toast and ghee on rotas isn't just for flavor. Grain-based foods like rice, wheat, and millet require fat too. Help D, G E S T, T H E M, W I T H O U T. The fat, any grain can cause constipation and flatulence. Taka, the tempering of spices and herbs in fat is an ancient practice that makes sure we absorb all the therapeutic properties of the spices. Without the fat, the spices will cause the stomach to be on fire causing acidity, reflux, and ulcers. To absorb fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K, one needs fats like ghee or oil. This is probably why vitamin A-rich foods like carrots, peppers, and pumpkins are best had with a tempering, veggies, vegetables are un- disputedly been official for our bodies. Eating seasonal and local produce is key to n serving good health, but the right combina tie-in of these foods is needed to prevent diseases. Cruciferous vegetables like cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, and cucumbers can cause bloating for some. When eaten with pulses like rajma, choli, chana, etc., they can cause severe flatulence, acidity, and indigestion. It is always better to have them with a simple mung dal to prevent this. Ideally, these vegetables should not be consumed at night. Veg dishes from vegetables. People have forgotten what vegetables are. Whenever I ask people to name vegetables, they mention potato, paneer, corn, gata, mangori, mung, and even macaroni. Vegetarian fare is made from vegetables and all the above are not vegetables. When you use them in place of vegetables, it will cause bloating, constipation, gas, and raised blood sugar levels. Dairy, as mentioned before, the nature of dairy products has a bearing on their effects on our body. Milk, when had by itself, causes mucus production and congestion of the respiratory tract. One should always have it with turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, cocoa, and tea powder to help break up the mucus. Curd is a potent form of probiotics but can cause constipation for some. 
This is why it works better when combined with a digestive aid like roasted jeera powder, rock salt, or tem, purring. Cold curd can also cause a cough, so adding a tempering of spices and herbs is always beneficial. Add turmeric to milk for better results. Water, our diets are incomplete without water, but many of us only think of getting our daily intake when we sit down for a meal. Because one hasn't hydrated well before, one gets thirsty at mealtime. But water, when had with or around a meal, dilutes the digestive acids in the stomach and makes the food difficult to digest. So pay heed to the above suggestions and eat your way to health. Recipe, Pumpkin Rita, Ingredients, 250 grams grated and boiled pumpkin, 500 milliliters curd, salt to taste, roasted cumin to taste, red chili to taste, one-third cup chopped coriander. Method 1. Stir the curd with a spoon till smooth, or whip it slightly. 2. Add all the other ingredients to this curd. 3. Serve chilled. Mung dal, chillas, ingredients, 3 tablespoons green, mung dal, with skin, 4 green chilies, chopped, a pinch asafoetida, salt to taste, oil for cooking, half bunch spinach, 100 grams carrots grated, 1 onion finely chopped, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 400 grams duty grated. Method 1. For the chillis, soak the mung dal for at least 3 hours. 2. Add the green chilies, spinach and 1 teacup of water and grind in a blender. Add the duty, carrots, onion, jeera, asafoetida and salt. 3. To proceed, spread a little mung dal mixed tore on a hot frying pan of about 125 mm. Diameter. Smear a little oil around the mixed tore and cook for a few seconds. Turn over and cook the other side till light brown. 4. Serve hot with green chutney. Nani Satalvit is a nutritionist, specializing in lifestyle and immunity disorders. Her foundation, Health for You, throws light on healthy food habits. Contact her at healthforayu at naeesatalvid.com.